qualifying two, race one. And we are green light racing, and Philly's got a great start there around the outside here, and actually might not choose to take the Joker, but has done. Into the Joker, he will indeed go. Seller and Howard Ridge both got terrible starts off the line. A golden opportunity here for Steve Hill to go out and take victory. He does indeed lead here, as we've got a beautiful drone cam over this beautiful circuit here in Lydon Hill. And well, as you come through the Devil's Elbow, it is still the lead then for Steve Hill. Just in behind him, he's got Michael Seller and Hal Ridge. Can they make up for lost ground after getting terrible starts off the line? Keep an eye out though on indeed Flitney. He is down in P4, but he has jokered. The other three drivers have not. And I'm wondering now whether P1 is indeed going to come in here just to try and cover off the advancement then of Dom, the number 47 car. As we go across the start finish line, here we go, Steve Hill. Nope, he goes then in towards turn number one nicely. Not going to take that Joker, just going to have that nice clear track to work with here. Flitney, though, will indeed be trying to make advancements, trying to go faster and faster, trying to close that gap and indeed take the lead of this race. As indeed the number 69 and Michael Seller looks like he might be closing up here. Again, not the greatest of starts. You can see the Howell Ridge uh, is indeed through the Joker and will come out. Well, we'll find out exactly where he comes out. Once he comes up on the screen, Hill runs a little bit wide, though, as we come down Harry Hill. Seller, though, run a little bit wide on the exit of the Devil's Elbow. So both of them making mistakes, and there we go. Howell Ridge, even with a terrible start here, with the Joker, has come out into P3. So Flitney not able to take full advantage of this. So it does now come down to Steve Hill. Steve Hill on lap number three then does not come into the Joker here. It will indeed be Michael Seller. Can Michael Seller get up into second position? It's going to be vital for him for the weekend if he does. And again, we are watching Steve Hill advance here in the lead of this race. And there's the merge. And Michael Seller is in P2. So very good driving then from the number 69. You can see that actually it looks like, yeah, not a good day here for Flitney. I think Flitney may have a bit of an issue here. Very slow on lap number three. Steve Hill here with a massive opportunity to go out and take the lead. Has had nothing to deal with in terms of side-by-side -side action. So he can put a really quick time in. And wow, how rich here coming down Harry Hill was just about alongside Michael Seller. Not able to make that move stick. And as we come then onto the final lap here, it's going to be Hal Ridge versus Michael Seller for that second position. I think you'll find that Steve Hill is in a golden spot right now as we will indeed see the merge here through Chesson's Drift on the exit of the Joker. Yes, very, relatively easy there for Steve Hill. He is indeed going to have the lead of this race from the start to the finish. A fantastic start and he has taken full advantage of that. But can Hal Ridge get up to second spot down in towards the Devil's Elbow? Gets the nose just up the inside. Not quite able to do so, but it is side by side. Up Harry Hill we come. And it's going to be outside line then for Hal Ridge. And I tell you what, he's gone for the uh, well, over and under. It's a beautiful move here again. A bit of contact between the two drivers. Down the hill they come. Michael Seller is still hanging in there. They are side by side down through the final corner. Up towards that final chicane. A little bit of a mistake there potentially by Ridge. Ridge gets the power down. And it will be P2. Great drive from him. Steve Hill wins out here. It will be Hal Ridge in P2. In P3 then it will be Michael Seller. Uh, Don Flitney with a fantastic start here. Wasn't able to take advantage. He will finish in P4.